Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is a video request. So, so what this video request um, has someone email me, and they basically said, "Hey, BJ." Is it possible to take your current Windows 2008 R2 server and upgrade it to server 2012 without reinstalling the operating system, wiping it clean, and doing it? So I said, I really don't know. Uh, so let's create this video and I'm going to do it live in front of you guys. So as you can see, I have a virtual machine that I built, which is. Uh, Server Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise is not it's not activated because it's only for testing purposes, and I also installed a couple of roles. I installed the uh, web services and WDS, and I installed the .NET uh, framework uh, features to see if that stuff carries over to the migration or to the upgrade. Uh, I inserted the ISO or the CD in your case guys and let's start it off and see if this works alright so far so good I'm gonna hit the install and see what happens so uh, it looks like it's setting up uh, copying temporary files I guess it's dropping up the files that it needs to do the installation and here we go uh, two options. I don't want to go online and do updates now. I probably do that manually. So I do the no thanks. Click on that. Uh, four options on this CD. I'm going to do the standard server with the GUI. I do want a graphical user interface. So that's what GUI is. Um, and I'm going to hit next. Now remember, my Windows 2008 R2 server is a 64 bit. So I don't know if you if you have a 2008 R2 32 bit, I don't think that's gonna work upgrading to 64 bit. So make sure that the architecture is the same. Uh, you can read the license terms. I accept it. Hit next, and you got two options. You can either upgrade, install Windows and key files, or do a custom. Custom mostly you're gonna wipe it clean or do a partition. We don't want to do partition. We want to do an upgrade. It's gonna check what it needs to do. And it basically says before continuing, make sure that the app vendor supports your applications on Windows 2012. I installed WDS Web Services and well at .NET Framework, so that should work with um, Server 2012. And we hit next, and it's gonna go.
Hey guys, we're back. So it looks like the upgrade of my server 2008 R2 server has finished. Let's see if uh, it works. Let me see if the password that I had looks like it's going through. So I guess you are able to upgrade your server 2008 R2 64 bit to a server 2012 64 bit machine. So let's uh, gives you a nice little shortcut of Windows. Uh, gives you a nice little report. That's pretty cool. Waiting for the server manager to start up, so I can look if my services are added. Because remember, I added uh, .NET framework as well as WDS and web services. So let's see if that stuff is added. Got a bunch of services that I need to take care of. Oh, so there it goes my IS and my WDS. It looks like everything went through with no problem. Everything, it looks like everything is still trying to run. I got a couple of services errors that I have to fix. But other than that, you are capable to do a upgrade on your Windows 2008 R2 to a server 2012. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video please give me thumbs up if you enjoy the video I always do appreciate those thumbs ups please give me comments below I do answer all the comments that you guys give on every video that I have uh, as well as at the very top there is a subscribe button hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and don't forget about gaming I catch you guys later thank you